All right. Um, I'm super excited to have Lori on today. She's uh, a previous student or an alumni, I guess you could say, of the Modern Dog Trainer Academy. And today she's going to share a little bit about um, her experience and, and how things have gone as a result of um, going through that. So do you want to go ahead and, and give yourself like an introduction and, you know, your name, your business name and all that? Sure. Uh, hey, I'm Lori Coles. I am owner of Lessons That Last Dog Training LLC in Nina, Wisconsin. Um, opened on November 30th of 2020, and it has surpassed even my three-year goals. So I'm like wow. ecst ecstatic. <laughs> yeah, and it's it's March, so it's only been what like four or five months, maybe. Yeah, I yeah, <laughs> it's, I, I had December, January, February, and yeah, almost almost through March. So wow, wow, awesome. Yeah. All right, so um, tell us a little bit about why you started your business and what you were hoping to maybe get out of it in the first year. Um, well, I have always had a passion for dogs. I mean, God gave me it. It was just crazy. Ever since I was a little kid, even after being bit in the face twice, oh, I just wow. have always loved dogs. And wow. um, it, the long story short, I was encouraged because a lot of people were seeing how well behaved my dog was. And they were like, you just light up when you're working with them. You should, you should be training other people's dogs. And so they kind of planted all these seeds. I decided to pursue it. And a year, almost a year and a half after making the decision to pursue it, I opened. And thanks to your program, I've been running programs since I opened. And those programs have set us apart in the area. And really, we've We've just really been, I've hired my first employee a couple wow. weeks ago and yeah, it's, I'm looking at expansion already. Wow. Already. I know wow. it's blowing my mind. We'll see what happens. We'll see what the quote comes back as. But... <laughs> right. <Yes. laughs> awesome. Oh, that really makes me tear up um, to just see somebody be able to like basically achieve their dream you know, within yeah. months instead of years. Right. Right. Time, Honestly, time is these were my three year goals and, mm -hmm. um, I could easily break $10,000 this month. Um, which I had, again, that was my, my three year goal was to be yeah. making that kind of money. Yeah. And again, to be, it was a year before I thought I'd hire someone yeah. Um, and I certainly didn't have expansion in my crosshairs <laughs> for like a long time, if yeah. at all, but, yeah. um, the dogs just keep coming the puppies, yeah. the dogs. Um, it's just people need help. That's for mind sure. blowing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. So, um, what made you, uh, want to sign up for this program? Cause I feel like you, you were on the fence a little bit. You were like, well, you know, like I, I can try and figure it out on my own or I can really commit and like, see what happens. So what got you off the fence? Um, well, I had gone through some schooling and it covered a lot of it, but it was, I just, I always want to keep learning and your program covered, it was broad and I knew I needed help in several of the areas, but it was a big commitment. It was yeah. like, who do I need help in some of these other areas? And it was, it's funny because even the areas I didn't think I would need the help in, it helped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, it, it really helped to round out what I thought I knew and point mm -hmm. out areas that I thought I knew, but I didn't know. And yeah. it gave me the confidence to charge the prices I'm charging. Cause to be honest, I would have never jumped to these packages to these, well, I shouldn't say packages. Cause it's not a package. It's a program. Yeah. I wouldn't have done program training. Yeah. I wouldn't have asked for thousands of dollars to train people's dogs and thought that I could get it. There's yeah. just no way. And I've been getting it. So and here we it's, are. <laughs> right. And so awesome. it's wonderful. It's scary. It's wonderful. 
yeah. mean, it's, you know, it's more wonderful than it is scary, but every, yeah. every night it's like, <gasps> what happens if? <laughs> yeah. I think every entrepreneur goes through that. I mean, I look at those moments too. So that's totally, um, tell me about how your clients have responded to programs. Um, because I feel like, like you said, a lot of people are scared of selling thousand dollar programs or more. And, um, how do you feel your clients feel about them? Um, some of them come in a little skeptical, but I always do an evaluation when they're done. And every one of them has, have said that it's so worth it. Usually. Okay. So I run either a one day a week for three week program or a two day a week for three week program. So, um, usually after the first week and it doesn't matter which program they're in, it just, they're already seeing change. I mean that wow. it, it's, yeah, it's, and they're like, I love when I get the feedback. Cause that just like fuels me. It's like, Oh, yay. Cause uh, my expectations are always really high. And yeah. sometimes I don't feel like I've reached the training level that I had envisioned in my mind for the day or whatever, for the week. And yet they're getting, you're getting feedback. And all that matters is that you're pleasing the moms and dads. I mean, right. honestly, let's face it. If they're happy, yeah, that's all they want. They just, right. they want to see some results and um, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. It's just right. teaching them everything that you're teaching their dog and hoping that they follow through with it. And, and I've been really lucky to have clients who really put the effort in, which I yeah. think I attribute to the Academy because again, had I not set the prices that I set, I wouldn't be getting the clientele that I'm getting yeah, and I wouldn't see the results that I'm seeing. So, um, yeah, it's been really exciting. So I love it. Yeah. I'm so happy for you. That's amazing. Yeah. That's something I say all the time is, you know, when people struggle with compliance, it's usually, um, comes back to a few factors. And one of those is definitely price and, and people just don't have enough skin in the game to really commit to the process. Right. <laughs> right. Right. So, and, yeah. you know, I've only had a couple people who, have told me that they they're not doing it because of the price and mm -hmm. I, the thing I've had to get used to is you're not going to bring on a hundred percent of the people right and that's okay yeah that's okay <laughs> you're I'm getting really good at judging too it's like you know if they're hemming and hawing about getting the contract back and you know they're probably more high maintenance than I want to work with anyway right. so if I just stick to my guns it, a lot of times they weed themselves out for me Right. so that I don't have to do that. Yeah. Um, which is really nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I have had to have a few of those hard conversations. I had a lady yesterday who couldn't imagine leaving her puppy for five hours without seeing it. Yeah. And it's like, then I'm probably not the right trainer for you. Right. You know, it's, it's just getting easier to say those things. Yeah. Not to be mean, but it's like, I'm not going to change what I do because you're not comfortable and I want you comfortable. Right. And that's what I told her. I want you comfortable. You're making a big investment. And if you're not going to be comfortable, then I'm just not the right trainer for you. Yeah. I said, if you change your mind or if there's something I can help with in the future, let me know. I'd be happy to help. So okay. it's just, you get, you get more comfortable with the nose and the, you know, just the, the I, you just get more comfortable. Which... And the ones that say yes are the ideal clients, right? The ones that, yes. are, the ones that value your time and your expertise. So that's, that's, yeah. And I have, like I said, I have had some amazing clients. I have one yeah. lady who wants to do maintenance with her dog for a year yeah, until he gets to be two years old and beautiful. I, I have not done a good job at setting up maintenance programs. So <laughs> yeah. She's on me like all the time. <laughs> we, we want you to get this implemented because we want this. Um, he just graduated in February, the February class. And so it's, you know, it, there are things that I still need to do and incorporate. Yeah. And as you said, like, um, get that revenue coming in where, I don't have to be babysitting it all the time. And I need to yeah. automate, automate a lot of processes better. Cause I, yeah. let's face it. I've dropped that ball from, school, <laughs> from the Academy. I mean, I do way too much, um, scheduling on my own instead mm -hmm. of relying on, on a, like acuity or whatever yeah. to get that done for me. 
And I, I have learned not to chase people. I usually, yeah. I usually send out a, the initial inquiry and then I do a follow-up one week later. And if I don't hear back, I'm not going to chase them down. Hopefully right. they'll come, you know, I've had one lady come back six weeks later and say, yeah, I really want to do this. And I'm mm-hmm. like, great, that's awesome. So it's, and I wouldn't have, if I hadn't gone through the Academy, I would have been like nervous about not chasing down every possibility and not, right. not, you know, I mean, no, oh, that's lost revenue or that's, you know, well, things would have been a little tighter financially too. So, well, and I would have been more like, oh, well, and I still struggle with this. Oh, how can I change this to accommodate that person's (laughs) needs? You know, so sometimes I do find myself, you know, tweaking things, what you said would happen. Yeah. Tweaking things so that I can help that person. And then I just implement that new program. Like I have a confidence program now for puppies and dogs who lack the confidence. So do confidence corridors and things like that just to help them so it's just an impromptu thing that just came about because they seem to have had a lot of people interested in it yeah and then we'll you know I mean it's just and we'll be implementing like Saturday workshops this summer where we'll do like recall clinics for people so many people are like oh my four-month-old dog doesn't come when I call it it's like uh yeah (laughs) really I'm surprised Right. So I would have never yeah. guessed. <laughs> right. I mean, oh my goodness. Or, you know, you, you get all the people too. My 12 week old puppy bites all the time. Yes, he does. <laughs> and he's going to. Yeah. So yeah, it's just really cute. So awesome. Awesome. So um, I guess like what ultimately made you want to sign up instead of trying to figure it out on your own? I, like I said, I really want to learn from other people who've gone through it, Mm, who, why reinvent the wheel? Mm. I mean, I found myself spending a lot of time trying to figure things out, trying to develop templates, trying to figure things out. And it was exhausting. It was confusing. And, you know, the program just really helped make it easy. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, the, the, the base stuff was there and all you had to do was modify it to fit your yeah. needs, your programs, your, you know, your vision, basically. Yeah. It, it, it just made it much easier and it was well worth the investment. I mean, I just have to say it again, big investment, big reward. That's all right. I can say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're not, you're not going to go anywhere if you hold yourself back. Yeah. So you just have to trust that it's going to pay off and it has, yeah. it has totally yeah. paid off. So beautiful. Um, how soon would you say you started seeing results after joining? Well, I didn't finish the program because because <laughs> you were so busy. <laughs> my business started and I got so busy. I couldn't. So I would say immediately. Yeah. Um, yeah. I took my first clients while I was in the Academy yeah. and I haven't had the time to go back and finish. Um, hence the hiring the new employee yeah. and everything's been great. And so, yeah, it's just, I can forgive my you goal. for that. My, <laughs> goal, the best excuse. my goal is to get back. Like I said, I still need to get um, automation yeah. implemented and I still need to go through the, the, the residual, you know, not residual, but what do you call that? The passive income. Yes. Um, yes. And get that stuff implemented. Um, so I'll be going back and refreshing all of that stuff. It's just- yeah. And I mean, honestly, like that's why I made it like lifetime access. Cause yeah. it is, you know, when you build a sustainable business, like there are all these pieces, but you can't just build them all at one time. You have to build them over time. So yeah. I, I totally understand where you're at on <laughs> you would, you would go crazy trying to do it all at once. There's just not enough hours in the day. Right. Yeah. It's insane. Especially when you're busy with clients. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. And I, you know, we only work, well, we only do client dogs five days a week Yeah. and then Saturdays it's deep cleaning in here and it's, you know, retail because of the retail area and it's, yeah. paperwork and it's CEO and then we have Sundays off and yeah. um it's still you know because you have dogs all day and then we have the 
private parent parent teachers conferences at night yeah um so yeah it's it's consuming but it's amazing so awesome awesome um how do you feel i mean it I, we've kind of maybe already covered this a little bit but is there anything you can pinpoint as to how you feel this program has impacted your growth or your potential i, I okay first I love that you had to set goals because I'm not a good goal setter. I'm really <laughs> not. So to have taken the time to write down the goals for the, what was it? 90 days, three months or three years and five years or something mm -hmm. like that. I, yeah. It, like I said, to be reaching my three-year goals, what I, what I had envisioned would take me three years to be reaching them in four months. Yeah. Um, it, it's, it makes me have to go through and rethink, you know, like I need to go through and redraw up those goals right. and set some new ones because I want to keep progressing and I want to keep surpassing what even I thought would be possible. So it's the Academy. Again, I just wouldn't, I wouldn't, I don't believe that I would have recognized the growth, the success, the confidence. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think I would have, I wouldn't have been ready for any of it. I would have held, I would have been my own worst enemy and I would have held myself yeah. back yeah. because of my fear, my, well, I'm not ready for that. Well, I can't charge that. All that self-doubt stuff. Would right. have been. So yeah, it just, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> um, and then lastly, what would you say to others that are thinking of joining that might be on the fence right now? Do it. <laughs> I mean, honestly, you're only going to hold yourself back. You're, you're going to be, you're going to be your own worst enemy ultimately, because it's going to speed up your processes. It's going to get you thinking outside the box you've put yourself in. Mm -hmm. It's going to help you gain knowledge from experience of others it's going to give you a community to pose questions to help get rid of your doubt to set you up for success it's going to give you the templates and the tools that you need and it's going to open your eyes to things that you thought you knew that really there are either better ways to do it easier ways to do it um, different ways to do it that maybe you hadn't thought of Mm -hmm. And it just all is beneficial. I mean, there, I don't regret that investment at all. It is, it is one of the best investments that I've made. And, um, I would, I would do it again. Oh, I would wow. do it again. So awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Lori. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. And, um, yeah, that's, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> thank success. you. And I'm so glad you are. Cause again, I can't yeah. thank you enough, honestly.